Hey, what's up, guys? It's Tom over here at YouTube channel. Hey, uh, so today we're talking about a 60 series Detroit. This is in an older Columbia. Um, I'd say like about an 05 model, something of that nature. Uh, what we got going on is the truck, well, it'll run, but then it'll just shut down and a red light on him. Um, just want to give you a quick little update on some things um, that a, a lot of people seem to forget or not understand. There's only two things, especially on this engine, lots of other engines, Cummins and stuff of that nature that will shut a truck down and be able to restart so if it'll if it'll run for 30 seconds and then shut down and then you know wait 10 seconds and it'll start back up all right there's only two things that'll do that not dpf nothing like that dpf will put you in like a a state of uh d-rate it'll still run but it won't go but like five miles an hour or something of that nature you know so it, it's not going to shut the truck down all right, the only things that'll shut the truck down is low oil pressure or no coolant. Those are safety measures that are put on the ECM in order to, you know, protect the engine. All right, so this truck's shutting down. So on the dash, it's reading correct oil pressure. However, you know, it, it's not, uh, it's, uh, it's still shutting down. So the customer brought it in, wanted to know what was going on with it. So the first thing I did was hook up a scanner to it. So I use J Pro for a lot of things. It's a great application. Um, it allows you to read codes and uh, do regens and stuff of that nature. However, I do have dealer spec software. So I went ahead and hooked up J Pro to it. One of the first things I see that's inactive right here is oil pressure is low. All right, it's it's got a, a couple other codes in it and stuff of that nature, but you know, that's gonna be your shutdown code right there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and address that. Um, we're gonna check oil pressure with a manual gauge. And uh, if it's correct, then we'll go ahead and pop in a oil pressure sensor in it. If not, then uh, it's looking like uh, bottom end's going down and it's gonna need bearings and stuff of that nature. So we'll keep you updated on this and uh, go further. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, we went ahead and install, installed our new oil pressure sensor. We have oil pressure. All right, it's not really good, but we got oil pressure. Cold start, it should be higher than that, at least about 50. Uh, so it's running kind of low. But give you a quick rundown real quick on where this thing is. This is what it looks like right here. It's a little three pin sensor. It's a 33 millimeter deep well socket that gets this bad boy out. All right. And it's back here almost parallel in line with the intake manifold on the back side of the block all right so you kind of got to wiggle your hand back there and you can get the socket on it etc etc and pull it out all right it's got a safety clip on it kind of like this one right here push the safety clip back pull the harness off of it and then you can get to it and pull it out it's pipe thread so pretty easy to come out and go right back in with thanks for watching follow us for more